I own the bagel cafe downtown, which is called Food for Thought. What used to be Baguitos. It was a it was a place that I very much and I was very sad to see that it was going to be closing and I started talking about the possibility and I somehow <laughs> somehow I ended up for, for some reason no one else wanted to buy a, a, buy a cafe just before COVID hit. <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying attention to the bigger picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I really I really liked the place and I thought it would be a real shame to lose it, both at the cafe, but also as a community space. Mm-hmm. So can you talk about it a little bit as a community space? Like, what is it about it that you loved and that you, you hope to continue um, with it now as food for thought? Well, I guess there were, I mean, obviously just the the community aspect community around around eating food mm-hmm. was obviously a really big one it provided a space for musicians there were several uh, music sessions that would go on every week and that's something which I personally very much value getting together and playing music with other people it's also a space for showing artwork and that's something else that I would like to continue to be able to do is to provide space for local artists to share their work. So you mentioned acquiring this business um, right around or or during COVID-19. So we're about six months into the pandemic now. Can you talk about the challenges your business has faced during this time? Well, in some ways, it was actually a good thing. I mean, our original plan was to um, renovate, turn everything around and just open right back up again at the beginning of April, which would have only given us about two weeks to do all that work. And that was a lot of work. And the fact that we were able to spread it out over three months mm. um, was a good thing. Mm. So we didn't actually open until the beginning of July. The landlord's been incredibly supportive mm. of us, particularly through those first three months. I think one of the hardest things is that there just aren't that many customers. We opened up in July for takeout only. So obviously then and there we were, we were cutting down our potential um, customer base. And so that's, you know, financially been tricky. Um, Yeah. (laughs) We decided that we were going to open it up for dine-in as well. We've separated out the tables so there's only a couple of tables in the front there's a couple of tables in the back mm-hmm. um, and there's the booth so we just want to make sure that people you know feel like they have enough space we officially started doing that in September mm-hmm. and for for us or for me anyway I found it really it was really nice having people actually sitting in I mean that was the whole point of this mm-hmm. was you know, you open a cafe, you want people to come and eat in your cafe. It's nice. It's, it's really nice. Um, Obviously we, we don't have, we don't have the live music yet. um, But hopefully at some point that will be, that will be allowed again. Awesome. So right now people can come and they can eat in your cafe if they want. Um, And they can also still order takeout if they would like. Yep. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Yep. So we've we the way we've we've set it up so that you can still just come to the to the table just right mm-hmm. inside the door, mm-hmm. um, and you know you don't have to come into the cafe at all if you just want to come and pick up bagels. We also, we also offer soups and salads, mm-hmm. um, so that's obviously an easier thing to sit down, right? <laughs> sit down and eat. So then. Can you tell us about when Food for Thought is open? When can when can people come and see you yeah. guys? <laughs> yeah, so we're we're open Thursday through Sunday mm-hmm. from eight in the morning until one in the afternoon. Okay. So it's really it's breakfast and lunch. So how can we as a community best support Food for Thought? What what can what can we do for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. come come and eat. <laughs> um, we do ask that if if you want, you know, we, we would love, you know, we love people to come and mm. enjoy our food. I mean, we have some delicious, 
delicious um, soups and salads um, on top of, we've got nine different kinds of bagels um, and various kinds of cream cheese. Um, I know that a lot of people like to um, buy a dozen or a half dozen mm -hmm. of our bagels and take them home with them. Um, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, we do ask if, if people want to do that, ideally, if they wouldn't mind um, letting us know ahead of time the day before, mm -hmm. then that, that way we can make sure that we've, we've baked. Because we, we had a few, a few week, weekends where we actually ran out of mm. bagels or we ran out of <laughs> specific types of bagels that, that people, people wanted. Um, so it is helpful to us um, to have, have pre-orders. Mm -hmm. um, and I can give you the phone number. Sure. Um, yeah. If you could give or, us your address and your phone number, that would be awesome. Yeah. So, so the, the, the phone number, at least for right now, is 802-505-7188. And the, the address is 28 Main Street. So we're down, the, we're down the far end of Main Street just before you get to Shores. Okay. And can people find you online at all? Yep, we we have a we have a Facebook page mm -hmm. which is food for thought. Well it's it's Facebook.com slash food for thought bagels mm -hmm. com. Great. Um and we're we're working on it. We're working on a website. I'm hoping <laughs> hoping to get that sorted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always these little things that end up driving us crazy. <laughs> well, Sarah, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today um, about food for thought. Um, I know everyone, I've been talking to a lot of people and they're really excited that you guys are open again. <laughs> and um, I wish you the best of luck and I appreciate your time. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. I appreciate you asking us to be part of this. <laughs> of course, of course. It's been really nice chatting with you. Um, right. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.